So the recordings have begun. Here we are. Um, for our our little dice jail Halloween special. Woohoo! Love a dice yeah, jail. We're here. Ooh, yeah, we're here. Yeah, we're here. The three of us, who it was always planned to be, just the three of us. Um, yep. Just the three of us. Uh, okay. No. So. It's four with GM. I suppose. I, do I count as a person? I don't think I count yeah. as a person. Um, Cam Cameron Smith is not a person. Yeah. Uh, I lost my rights ages ago. Um, exactly. Anyways. There you go. Um, so. The three of you are currently rowing through deep waters by the dimming light of the moon. You have been contracted by the Vargamor, queen of the werewolf kingdom of Potentia Lupus. They have been weakened recently. Their lycanthropic powers drained as the lights of the moon and the power of the moon have been waning. The Vargamor believes the creature responsible for this is something called a Varkalak. A phantom, an evil spirit of a vengeful werewolf with the ability to absorb the moon's power. As none of you are lycanthropes yourselves, you made the perfect candidates. So, you've been sent here to a small island to the northeast of the kingdom's shores, in the center of a deep lake. And as you row with hooded lanterns at the front of each of your boats, Boingo the Boingo, why don't you describe what everyone sees when they look at you? You see before you a seven to eight foot tall circus clown with, uh, you know, perfectly pale white skin, uh, a big round red nose, and of course the classic red clown wig. And uh, you're not quite sure uh, where you know where the wig ends where, where where the where the bright red nose ends you know you can't really tell if it's actually part of his body or uh if it's just cosmetic stuff same with with the, with the paint on his skin and the uh and those bright piercing yellow eyes uh i should also know that he has despite all of the rowing and you know with no real uh reason to be he just has a giant grin on his face at all times, unmoving. Uh, you also notice that his hands uh, are very green and they appear to be moist. Mm. did notice, like, thank you. Like neon green, neon green. Like does not look like it connects to the rest of him. We love that. Mm -hmm. We love that. Um, okay. So uh, as you all as you all observe him, he's just gonna give a quick. <laughs> Love that. Okay. Um, Pesto, what does everyone see? Oh my fucking oh my god! Right, I had like five of Colby's clown thing that I had to look at. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm trying to get it to. I'm trying to get it to show up in in the recording, but it's not doing it. So here we are. That's <laughs> okay. I understand. Uh, if any of you have been on the internet, you see famed giant baby king penguin Pesto. Adorable, fluffy, brown. That's it. <laughs> All right. That's Is it. That not it. Sure, I guess it is. Um, and uh, subject AM three one seven one 
uh, in quote, do man, out quote. What does everyone see? Um, oh my god. <laughs> what you see is a humanoid figure uh, wearing essentially a heavy armor, but on top of that heavy armor is just uh, basically taped together pieces of like bright neon green uh, cardboard pieces of what you assume are like the boxes from soda cans. And so he's just wearing essentially soda can armor. And if you try to get a look at his face, you can't see it. it there's, he's like wearing a mask underneath his helmet. Ooh. Very mysterious. Very All mysterious. Right. So also he's he's wearing basically bright neon green. So yeah, as one does, as um, one does. That's why his armor has a minus two stealth penalty. It's not the noise. <laughs> yeah, it's um, not the, yeah, a lot of visual noise. <laughs> so you paddle your boats over to the shore, and. That's where you find yourselves now. If it's willing to load. Oh, okay. There we are. There it is. Oh, what go. the heck is oh. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, hold on. Every All of you can see it, but the stream view is not behaving. Uh... It would be nice if the viewers could also see what's happening. Yeah. Um. There we go. Take it the... The two spotlights are intentional. That's how uh, that's meant to be. Those are lanterns on the front of your boats because only oh, one okay. of you can see in the dark. Oh. <laughs> um, yes. And speaking of the one of you who can see in the dark. Uh, yes. You can actually see a little further up from where you've landed your boats, a cabin. Through the hmm. fog, through the trees of this island in the middle of a massive lake. It took you about 20 minutes to get here from the edge of the lake, by the way. So okay. you are isolated right now. Uh, which one of us is that that can see it? Uh, that would be Dew Conductor. Gotcha. Or Dew Man, whatever the fuck. Man, <laughs> Dew Man. Hold on, let me just let me just replace your character so that it, there we go. Oh no, never okay. mind. The token, <laughs> the token is wrong. Um, okay, uh -oh. it's fine. Whatever. All right. So, what do y'all do? All right. Are we doing this? I'm gonna hop out of the boat. It's like, go to well, side. let's get a move on. And I'm going to jump. I'll waddle over. <laughs> Ave right. my little penguin fin. Hello, friends. And what kind of animal might you be? My mommy says I'm a penguin. A penguin? Well, you don't look like a luther to me. Thank you, Choose you... Goose Adventure Time. <laughs> I've been you so, so excited much. to do this voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. You want a wink? I bet I hold up my flask of fellowship. This penguin holds you, holds out a flask to you, Oingo the Boingo. Uh, well, don't mind if I do. Uh, and as as he says do, he's gonna he's, he's gonna turn his head towards uh the do man and wink. Uh, <laughs> I can't bring myself to do this. And uh, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna grab the flask with his big uh hands. Um. They sort of, they touch your hands, Pesto, uh, as he grabs it, and you realize that uh, they're not just moist, they're very sticky. Oh. Pesto's gonna shake his flipper and you get the sticky. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a swig. Lovely. What does it taste like? This is a question for Oingo the Boingo because that's how <laughs> Flask of Fellowship works. It tastes like ah, what I you see. would want it to. Why, it tastes like cotton candy. Oh. We love that. That's um, disgusting. Do you want a drink? Ugh. 
fine. Just gonna take a drink out of it. What is it? What does it taste oh. like? Oh, it's Dew Mountain. You have it's Dew acquired Mountain. your <laughs> not even <laughs> not even Dew Mountain. Dew Mountain Platinum. Whoa! Oh my God. I don't know what that Whoa. means. That's the post. <laughs> Um, all right. Use your imagination, damn it. So now imagine, the two of you have been... Imagine Mountain, but flicked. Platinum. <laughs> You've been afflicted. I think I vacationed there once. <laughs> By the Flask of Fellowship. Whoa. Flask of Fellowship. He's just getting chocolate from it, and he's getting chocolate milk. We oh. Love, we love the chalky milk. How'd um, you get Doom Mountain Platinum? It's a secret recipe. I should also note that currently... It is just past midnight on October the 31st. Oh. Mm. Of course it is. Yes. Uh, and I should Maybe also ask... White. Yeah, do any of you want one of the lanterns? <laughs> I should probably take one. Okay. A hooded lantern has been added to your inventory. Yippee! Hopefully. Yes, you it has equip been. it because it's scary that it's currently only the one bulb. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm holding it. Whoa! He's holding Damn. the lantern. All right. Like Scoob. Like well, so like Scoob. Follow me, children. All right. I only have 20 feet of movement, so Doom Man's gonna struggle. Clug, clug, clug. You I would like to uh, mention bird. that um, mm. with every footstep, uh, Oingo's feet do, in fact, squeak. As they should. And with every footstep, Doom Man, uh, who is the only part of his armor that's metal, are his boots. <laughs> Hang so, on. Wait, wait. We have a visitor. We do, in fact, have Mr. Perez here. Thank you, Cameron, for making my character for me because... You're I... welcome. Well, you say that, mm -hmm. but you don't know what your character is yet. And that is true. <laughs> I don't know what my character is yet. Oh, he doesn't know. He has no fucking clue. Because for the audience, Why? Jacob fucking Perez never gave me even the barest concept of a character for this game. So... That is true. Uh, Why? So, Cameron? are you in, sir? Why didn't you just make me? <laughs> As all of you step out of the boats, um, coming from the darkness of this island, uh, you see. What, why don't you? Why don't you describe Jacob Perez? Why don't you describe you Jacob see, Perez to everyone? You see fucking me. You see Jacob Perez. You see literally <laughs> Jacob Perez. I, he is. He is wearing. He looks like me. His hair doesn't look anything like me. For some it was reason, the closest no I could do. So fuck you for that. <laughs> uh, he is wearing the exact clothes that I wear, except <laughs> my, my my shirt usually isn't tucked in, but whatever. Uh, and I don't wear button downs. And I also don't carry around hammer and sickles with yes, me. Yes, you do. You absolutely do. You come oh, sure fuck. You definitely do. do <laughs> and I should also note, what is the device? That you have with you. God. Jesus Christ. What is that? <laughs> it's the device. Is that a plane catapult? Yes. <laughs> did you did you make my weapon a 9-11 joke? Yes. <laughs> I it's Jacob Perez and his 9-11 machine. Jesus. Oh my oh, fucking god. god. The yeah. planes right back, do, the planes explode and deal acid damage. Literally just me. We're all gotta be. Unemployed. <laughs> um, so, um, that that's what just sort of comes out of the out of the woods. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Mr. Perez, I'd like you to also note uh, your languages uh, and your inventory. I'm in a cock. Aaron, what the fuck is commie tongue? Commie Why tongue. Why is Russian and Soviet the same? <laughs> His languages are. Why are USSREs a different language than Soviet? I'm home right now. <laughs> and who could I'm forget? Home. He also speaks Hebrew. Why do I speak Hebrew? I don't even speak Hebrew. Why? Aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you like? Aren't you half Cuban? I now yes. I want you to. I want you to note that um 
Russian is a base language of Pathfinder because Earth is canon to path to the Pathfinder universe. Uh, anyways, that Hebrew is also a base language, or no? Uh, Hebrew is not, but uh, I should also I'll also ask you to look at your inventory, Mister Perez. One life hammer, one sickle, equipment, Microsoft Flight Simulator. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Consumables is the Communist Manifesto in parentheses autographs. <laughs> <laughs> and treasure is Patty's credit. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Cameron's lukewarm defense. You had submitted literally anything resembling a character. This would not have happened. This is true. I should also I, know I'm gonna be, that each I'm, of these are like functional items that I would recommend you read the descriptions of Mr. Perez. <laughs> I'm going to be um, so honest, I really thought that Jacob's character was going to be Cameron Smith. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to make fun of funny. him, not that myself. That would have been really funny. Um, that been no, I thought that he was going to make that. <laughs> that that would have oh been God. really Equipment, funny. Microsoft Flight Simulator, you can use this item to immediately skip ahead in time by a number of hours by your choosing. You take a minus 20 circumstance penalty to all roles involving charisma. Of course, charisma. Uh, the purpose is for the for the manifesto. The purpose of this item is unknown to you, but you feel a strong desire to consume this book. <laughs> and for the credit card, you, you can use this item to redeem cold, gold cost of any purchase item to zero. Fantastic, just like real life. Yep. All right. Oh my god. So let's play the game. <laughs> I am. I, I pray to God that none of my family members who now know that this campaign exists <laughs> do not. Oh dear Lord! Look at this episode. I hope they do. All right. So there's a cabin in the woods. All right. So uh, I'm gonna look go. at the, the man standing in the uh, in the corner. I've seen things like that before. Hello, new friend. <laughs> Is that a fucking penguin? That's Pesto. Yep. It's Pesto the Penguin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tiny and little you... baby penguin is well, not tiny. This oh, relatively God. large baby penguin is holding out a flask to you, Jacob. I should note that Pesto is a medium-sized creature. Good lord! Oh my oh, God! Oh Jesus! It's Jacob Perez. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? I know about him from live from Dice Jail. <laughs> <laughs> so is that his uh, bit that he's meta? Uh, You'll see. By do. It's Jacob Perez Jacob. from live from Dice Jail. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Perez, would you like to consume from the penguin's flask? I would love to consume from the penguin's flask. All right, flask. you consume from the penguin's flask. What does it taste like to you? You decide what it I tastes like. I decide what it tastes like. It tastes yes. like chocolate milk. Oh, oh. Man after pesto's okay. own heart. What? He's gonna wrap his flippers around Jacob's midsection. What? <laughs> You're getting a hug! Pesto's Bye. giving you a hug! I'm getting a hug from Pesto? I'm yeah! So I didn't realize him. What a house! I'm along, my ducklings! I should also oh, note, let us uh, move forward. Do man, something else you notice is another boat yeah. that appears to be uh, shored up a little outside of everyone's lantern light. Hey, there's a boat in that direction. It's shored up. That good or bad? I don't know. Yay. And Mr. Perez, don't well, forget, you get to move yourself and your device. <laughs> Did you say he, he's finishing coding? Oh, voting. Voting. I see. Oh. Why is yeah, voting dad, happening on October 17th? Because I'm voting by mail. Um, 
In so, Florida? you're checking yeah. out the boat. It's still, it's still legal for the time being. So, were, were you checking out the boat, or were you going to the door of the cabin? Let's check out the boat, and I'm going to squeak on over. Okay. You squeak on over, taking the light with you, leaving Jacob Perez so and the device in the darkness. The light. I'm scared of the oh, dark. Really? I still is scaled of the dog. God, do I have to move Don't worry. You have yes, justice with you. And also Jacob Perez. Fuck. I have a concept. Oh, I'm scared of the dark. What was Yono <laughs> saying that, that like his character is based on Pepsi Man or something? Yes. I, I was thinking Pepsi Man. You be too mad for the do train. Soda like, Brand. The best soda man. on this side of the world. Pepsi Man meets the Bud Knight. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so. Alright, oh, uh, <laughs> leaving. Just, just do it. As uh, the lantern light illuminates uh, the cabin and the boat, first of all, with the cabin, uh, now that Jacob Perez and uh, Do Man are close to it, you can see the, the door is right here. Uh, and you can also see through the few windows that are currently in your view, they appear completely clogged up with cobwebs. Uh, as for the boat, it looks like it's been here for a very long time and has been weathered severely by the elements. This boat is not functional. No new friends here. No new friends. But there might be loot. I'm going to hop into the boat. You see nothing in here. It doesn't look stable. Except for water and mold. Well, I found some black mold. <laughs> but I'm afraid if indeed. that the novelty has grown old. <laughs> and then I leap back out of the boat. Oh my god. I love the rhyming. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so the only other thing you can see right now is the cabin. Are there any windows in the cabin? Yes, as I said before, you see a few windows and they are completely clogged up with spider webs. Uh. You um. approach the door. I, I I knock three times on the door and I say, Yo -ho! You do that and you get no response. Okay, I kick down the door. You kick down the door. Okay. Uh, make an athletics oh. check to force the door. Oh! <laughs> That's a 30. A 30. Jesus. <laughs> Oingo, the Boingo just... <gasps> Yoo-hoo! Bashes the door in with his foot. And you see on the other side, this cabin is full entirely of cobwebs. And... It's gross in here. Do, do man, as you have uh, dark vision, you're also able to see what looks to be a, the only thing not covered in cobwebs, a gilded mirror on the other side of the room. Uh, there's a gilded mirror on the opposite side of the room. I'm going to investigate it. You go right ahead. I'm going to get in contact with Airbnb. <laughs> oh my god so you step in back. and you push yourselves through the cobwebs any uh, spiders in the area no massive ones just regular sized spiders okay. now something I will also note actually is that at first you think it must be a wall or something that's blocking out the light but it appears that over here there's some sort of black fog, almost as if it's anti-light. Oh. Um. That's even worse than regular dark. That's advanced darkness. Well, oh, off we go. Scared. There also appears to be some, uh, some food on the table. Some potatoes, an entire roast chicken. Mm. Some bread. The do man. A candle. The do. Oh. <laughs> do man turns to pesto. Don't worry, little brown thing. When in doubt, 
Just do it out. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> don't worry. This will help. I had a can of uh, do trade over. Oh my god. You are handed, <laughs> Peso, you are handed a neon green and red can. Peso <laughs> will attempt to sip. <laughs> you you crack it open and you attempt to sip and man is it sweet as fuck. You get immediately a condition with diabetes. You immediately become fatigued. <laughs> oh, Actually, no. your doomed condition increases by one. <laughs> what? You become doomed <laughs> one. No. Oh, oh no. Um, it's good for you. I don't want it. Oh, I would I would like to mention I would like to mention that I have not entered the room yet and you turn back and you just see me just like standing there frozen. <laughs> what are you this doing? Floor accurate Jacob Perez and I oh, am yes. scared shitless of everything. Yeah, Jacob Perez, I should know you don't know how the fuck you got here. <laughs> <laughs> you were um... just sitting in your room playing Microsoft Flight Simulator for the eight hundredth hour straight. You think you might have starved to death. <laughs> I This I, is the afterlife I, for you. <laughs> this is hell. <laughs> oh my Don't god. Don't make me depressed this because is, that would be the show is dead. This is Jacob's hell, my heaven. <laughs> but uh yeah, I bound over to Jacob and I grab his shoulder. And um you know, I, I should mention Jacob that this entire time I've had like a stereotypical like cr like clown like open mouth grin on my face and it does not change at all uh as i uh pull you inside it's just one of the attractions i'll hold your hand if you like d d d no <laughs> Okay, so Jacob no. Perez and the device are no, dragged thanks. inside. This disproportionately sized clown. And the door, which was kicked open, shuts behind you. Fuck! Oh. Oh, that's ominous. Oh, no. Anyway, who's hungry? Are there fish on the table? Uh, there are not fish. It's just potatoes and entire roast chicken and bread rolls and a candle. Uh, I grab... Eating. I grab the candle... You grab the candle. And I twirl it around in some of the spider webs. All right, you twirl the candle around in some of the spider webs. Oh, no. Oh. You now have a cotton candle. Oh, <laughs> lovely. I take a bite. It's fucking delicious. Just what the doctor ordered. And I should note that all of you at this point have seen the weird anti-light in the corner here. Um, and you can uh, see through, through the dark and see the dawns too. I'll tell you what I can't see. Beyond the void. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. What's in the mirror? Uh, well, you can't really see it too closely from over here. Because the mirror is all the way over here. Mm. All right. Let's go to the mirror. I would like to jump over the table. All right. You jump over the table. And uh, as he does so, you guys all hear like a springy noise. <laughs> <laughs> like a... So oh, my God. You leap over the table. And as you approach the mirror, you don't see yourselves. You can see a reflection, an accurate reflection of the room, but you can't see yourselves. That must be where the zoo visitors go. Wonder why no one's there. I am just completely... Can I... By uh, game, well, game master. <laughs> yes. Completely... Uh, what? What, what would do man know uh, if... If it can, uh, if it can, if it doesn't know that, um, that, like, camp ropes, like, can't see themselves in the mirror, or, like, anything about, like, camp ropes and mirrors in uh, relationship? No, lycanthropes can see themselves in the mirrors. That's vampires who can't. Oh. Yeah. 
canonical Doom Man moment. Oh, good heavens. My pale skin. I will note, you've My seen your reflections in places like the water, but you just can't see it in this mirror. I fear I may be a vampire. All right, Pesto, you move over to the mirror and you touch it. The glass is smooth and cold. I'm going to stick my little penguin face against it. You stick your little penguin face against it, and the glass is smooth and cold. Still no reflection. I'm happy with it. Um, here, hold on. Uh, Jacob, pick a d20. 1 through 14. <clears throat> 3. 3, okay. Um, so, all right, Mr. Perez, something you notice as everyone else is up close to the mirror is that, um, in the reflection, you actually can just barely make out that you can see that there is, while the rest of the reflection of the room is accurate, what you don't see is this weird darkness in the corner. Instead, you see a candle with a glowing blue flame. You only see that in the reflection, though. In, in like, you know, real life, you can just see the darkness. But, like, in the reflection of the mirror, I can see the candle. But, like, in yes. real life, I can Yes. Hey, so God, who the hell are you talking to? <laughs> that is Mark. true. Every Mark. single thing that Jacob Prez says in real life, he's actually saying in game. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like talking up into the sky right now. Yes, you've been talking about voting. I, I voted for Vermin Supreme. <laughs> I voted for justice. Not old enough to vote. Ah, oh. count your blessings, kid. <laughs> So anyways, <laughs> uh, Jacob Perez, what do you do with this information? Uh, guys, uh, the invisible man in the sky is telling me that <laughs> that's informed me of a weird candle reflection. Jesus. I'm scared. Uh, I wonder if we can... Uh, I'm scared. Uh, oh, I move. Uh, can I take the mirror off the wall? Doom Man uh, steps over Pesto. Pesto, you are currently between the Doom Man's legs. Um, I'm sorry. Doom Man, you attempt to take the mirror off the wall. Uh, make an athletics check. Uh, I'm gonna start like contorting and distorting my limbs. Like, I'm, like it's like an impossible legs right now to try and carry it off. Uh, as you hear some bones breaking. Athletics, athletics, you say? You yes. Said? All right. Please. Ooh, not great. Uh, 22. 22. You pull the mirror! And it's, uh, it, it, it comes off the wall. Ah. It was just <sighs> hung up like a regular mirror. It's very large, though, so it requires both hands to hold on to. Yeah, I, I'm like, my, my arms, like, if I was a real humanoid, would totally be broken on the way I'm holding this thing. Just an FYI. As I as I walk backwards with it towards what, where the candle is. Yes, you can now also see the candle in the mirror. All right. I will walk back carefully walk towards back it. Carefully towards it. You can still see it through the darkness. It's in the center of the darkness. All right. He's going to walk back and use it as a guide to uh, go to the candle. You use it as a guide. And... As yeah. you do everything around you other than the mirror is enveloped by the darkness and you actually can see in the mirror you can see the reflection of the candle but you you don't see the room anymore now through the mirror you can see a hallway illuminated in blue hmm. by torches blue torches there's a hallway down here a big hallway 
I step out. <laughs> you step out, and that's that's gone. It's back to a regular yeah. reflection. So it's it's pure darkness in there. I can only see the hallway through the reflection. Correct. Did you try and blow out the candle? Uh, I should. That's a good idea. Step back inside. You step back in. The reflection of the hallway is back now. Did I, I can't. I don't have any lugs. Do I just? Do I just? Can I just like? You can snuff out the candle with your fingers and if snuff you want. it out. Yeah, tentacles. Okay. Snuff it out. Yeah. You snuff out the candle. The hallway is gone. Oh. As is the Wait. darkness orb. You can all now see the dark candle. Hip hip okay. hooray. Uh, there's a hallway in there. I think the only way to activate it is to turn on the candle. That seems scary. Well, only one thing to do. And, um, I would like to unblow out the candle. <laughs> yeah, that that's exactly what Oingo, Bo Oingo the Boingo does. You all watch as he just, he takes his fingers and puts them over the wick as if to snuff the candle out. But as he removes his fingers, it's lit up again. So now Oingo the Boingo and Dooman, you can now see the hallway through the reflection. Hmm. As you're enveloped in the darkness. I'm gonna I, go I just have the most trying looking. to grab onto someone. Uh alright, Pasto gropes I ex do man. I extend oh I, I, I extend <laughs> out a very slimy sticky tentacle for my armor so you could hold on to it. You do just that. And that Has is what tentacles? It it smells like lemon lime soda. <laughs> um Where is my mommy? <laughs> <laughs> so now all of you can see this as you have entered the dark. You can now all see this hallway. Sorry. We're going down the very dark hallway. I Let's really go down the go very down dark hallway. I'd rather go anywhere else but the very dark hallway. So, do man, what you're telling me is that you, you well, how do you attra attempt to enter the hallway? I, can I try to walk into it? Sure, do man. As you touch the mirror, there is no glass. You just go through. Oh, uh, <gasps> You find yourself in the hallway. You said that Here he touched mirror. He went through the mirror. Yes, he went through the mirror. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Pesto Bugs Bunny style dive in. Through. He's gonna follow. All right, Pesto follows. Uh, Oingo, Bugs Bunny dives in. Jacob Perez, do you follow through the mirror as well? I, I just like kind of look around me and I realize, okay, well it's either I go into the very dark place with them or I stay in the very dark place alone. So I go into the very dark place with them. All right, and you bring the device with you, of course. I bring the device with me, of course, that All I right. still have no idea why I have it. So, here you are. In this hallway, illuminated entirely by blue light, looking back That's at the horrifying. mirror on the wall, oh. you can actually oh. see the place that you just came from. It appears that the mirror has attached itself back to the wall in the cabin. That's that's fucked. Oh, now I think this is where the Airbnb photo came from. This we are and in the right place. As you look down the hallway, you can see a set of double doors. Stone double doors. I just Across look up these... into the sky. I just look yeah, up I... into the sky and I scream and I scream, Cam, if if this is somehow you doing all this shit to me, I just want to know. I just want you to know, <laughs> fuck you and I hate you. Uh, you feel Who a mental projection to? of a middle finger appear in your mind. Um, all right, that's it. You no also, as, for you this week. <laughs> as you look up, you actually don't see the sky. You see uh, a popcorn ceiling. Uh, oh, fuck off. <laughs> um, and yes, again, so the the floorboards here are all cracked and broken and falling away, and you can actually see through some of the holes just darkness. Uh, 
Take care. Don't fall. And I should note, Oingo the Boingo, your mm -hmm. your lantern is not at all overpowering these torches. It appears that there is a dark space that your lantern is illuminating, but it's not mm. overpowering the torches at all. I guess I'll move towards that dark space then. Okay. Wait, wait. The enemies of justice will trap places. Search for traps. I suppose I would like to search for traps. Okay. Um. You don't see any traps. I don't see any traps. All right. You step forward. You step forward again. And you step into the darkness. As you do. Okay. I did. Uh, okay. One of the floorboards breaks underneath what? your foot. <clears throat> opening a uh, person-sized hole. I need you to make a reflex save to grab an edge, oh. Oingo. Oh, goodness. As Jacob Perez is left behind by the mirror. I am just, I'm, I am on the verge of hyperventilating. <laughs> Dirty 20. Oh. Dirty 20. Oingo the Boingo, you grab the edge and manage to pull yourself up. Oh. I now, told you. Here's a, here's a oh. question for Jacob Perez. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Would you have tried to go back through the mirror? at any point. You know what? Fuck it, yeah. You touch the mirror and it is smooth, cold glass. I could, like, try and the mirror open. It sounds like something I do. You, sorry, you do what? I try prying the mirror open again. Yeah, no. It's just... It's, it is just a mirror. Smooth, cold glass. You don't see your reflection. <laughs> I just, I just let out an audible. Mr. <laughs> Powers, I don't think that you can get back to the Mia. Yes, Pesto. Uh, right. I can see you go back. I think we need to use this time to reflect on our decisions. I, oh my God. You know, I think you're right, Mr. Oingo. Actually, um, I don't sorry. Know his name. That's yes, you do. Uh, that that all of their names have been spoken into your mind. Uh, except for Pesto, okay. you already knew who Pesto was. Something I should note about Oingo, as you fell, uh, you needed both hands to grab, so your lantern, gone, into the darkness. You watch <laughs> as the light just falls, falls, falls. You can all see through the hole as the light just keeps falling through the darkness. I'm just gonna sadly wave goodbye. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab one of just... the cards from my cantrip deck. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cast light. Love that. Okay, what are you casting it on? Um, you can just create an orb of light, right? Uh, you can. So you could do that. You could also attach it to a willing creature. I'm gonna attach it to me. Can I attach okay. it to me? Yes, you can. That makes my life so much easier, thank you. There we go. Pesto begins glowing. As he holds up a card, the card dissolves in his hand and he just begins glowing. When the lantern goes out, I just tense up and through my and through my teeth, I go, God damn it, Cameron, that's it. I'm going on strike for Jacob's fucking <laughs> show. <laughs> oh, you mean the thing that you haven't filmed an episode of since I was there? Listen here. <laughs> oh, we gotta get around the hole in the floor. It's a small hole. It's only taking up that one space. How right. how, long, how how far is the darkness? Pastor, as you step how... in, the, the the floor gives out underneath you. I need you to make a reflex ah. save. Oh no! Any little pesto dies. It's a 23. Pesto, you'll pull yourself up. I don't there. like this place. <laughs> so it's it's these two dark spaces in front of us? There are, so the spaces that you're currently on, the two of you are currently hanging off a ledge. Um, and then the two dark spaces in front of you, uh, you would imagine are also unstable floorboards. Oh. So, uh, GM, uh, what's the yeah. distance between my position and the, the next part, the next point? Uh, between the next space that you can, I'm assuming See, you're thinking the so the 
That's 15 feet. So, uh, what are you trying to do? Uh, I'm going to try and leap over it. Okay. So, or, a regular... Yeah. Or a long regular, jump. Long jump, sorry. Okay, because a regular horizontal leap will not get you over. Uh, so How long? A long jump, jump, I should know. feet, right? Uh, horizontal leap, what's your speed? Uh, my speed is 20 feet. 20 feet. So, <laughs> 10 feet, basically meaning you can clear a 5-foot gap. Um, okay. Um, so... I should know long, long jumps and high jumps oh, are yeah. completely different. Or, yeah, well, sorry. long jumps I mean... are completely different than they used to be, which is good okay. because long jumps are now possible. Uh, so okay. in order to jump, in order to clear this gap, you're going to need to roll an athletics check and you're going to need to get at minimum a, so a five foot jump, or a 10 foot jump would get you there. A 15 foot jump right. would get you there. So at the very least you need to get a 15. Okay, I have a, I have the feet powerful leap. Can that reduce it down to, or you know. Uh, so I leap. can increase the horizontal distance when you leap by five feet. Okay, yeah, you can do that. You'll, All uh, right. well, you'll still need to You'll still. Mm. Mm. I need athletics check still, but I yeah, you do still need an athletics yeah. check. All right, uh, I will give myself a. a can, 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 is this kind of as hard? It's. Hey, do I know if it's hard or or difficult or what's the, what's the difficulty here? We're we're looking at. Um, I don't know, like medium. Medium, okay. <sighs> Don't worry. Any of you guys got rope? Do I have rope? You have rope. Would Pesto and, and Oingo uh, like to pull themselves out of the yes, please. pit? Okay. I am, in fact, I'm going to pull myself out. All right. Give me the rope. How much rope do you need? Enough to cross the gap. All right, rope coming up. And then I'm going to uh, unhinge my jaw. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, reach my arm inside of my mouth. Uh, and it gets about, I want to say, elbow deep. Oh, mm. okay. Uh, and then I start slowly pulling out uh, a very, very uh, long, multicolored strip of rope. And uh, as it coils to the ground beneath me, I would like to point out that it is perfectly dry. Oh. Mm -hmm. Duman takes the rope and uh, slides one end of it into his chest. Okay. So he grabs that rope now. Uh, and he's going to attempt, uh, sorry, it's going to attempt a long jump across right. that space. Go ahead and make an athletics check. Athletics check. Go. Rolling athletics. Ooh, oh. Okay, 24. 24. Okay. You are able to not only clear the gap, but go <laughs> beyond it. <laughs> you now have justice. the rope in your chest and you are across the gap. Uh, Actually, you're good probably job. there. Is the rope attached between Go and you, man? I imagine you did it. Keep half of it in your hands. Yeah, I, I'm holding half of it in my sticky hands. Mm -hmm. I use the rope to climb across the chasm. Sure. Yeah, yeah, um, I hold it top. All right, make an athletics check. Old Pesto the Penguin. It's a 22. 22, all right. You successfully are able to climb the rope across. You have, you have, six, 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 you have successfully crossed the gap. Yay! Yay! Jacob all Perez. All right. Your turn, Jacob Perez. <laughs> 
I actually mumble that to myself. I'm like, I mean... <laughs> You're throwing the device, whatever this fucking thing is, because I can't lift that shit. The device, I, uh... My, my athletics might be fucking... T might be expert with a plus 12 modifier for some fucking reason, but I can't lift it. <laughs> I don't know why you gave that to me. I don't know why you gave why you made me trained in thievery. What did I I've never Because you got in my life. like because you got like seven fucking proficiencies to start with as an inventor. I just needed to fill proficiencies. You made me half Jewish. You could have done religion. <laughs> Instead you made religion a minus. Because <laughs> you're not religious. Recite the Torah right now. <laughs> I should also. I would also like to note. I want you to look at your deity right now. I forgot to mention that before. I saw the deity. Yeah, <laughs> Karl Marx. <laughs> Say it out loud. Anyways, um, so yeah, Jacob Perez. Uh, as you as you start telling Oingo that he needs to throw the device, the device uh like builds little tiny legs for itself out of its wheels. It grabs onto the and it uses like its catapult spoon to zip line across the rope she acquired come on jacob you can do it i am just do it think all right now <laughs> all righty then i guess i'm because i'm jumping okay I jump and you're, I die you're jumping really you're not taking the rope you're jumping Oh, there's a rope. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so Jacob's jumping. Go rope. ahead and roll an athletics check. No, I go for nope, the Nope, you're rope. jumping. You said you're jumping. Make an athletics Fuck check. You. I'm going to the goddamn <laughs> rope. Nope. Make an athletics check. You're going to have to make one no matter what. God damn it. <laughs> oh. What is that? 29. Oh no. Oh, no. A, a 19 and 19. A 19. You successfully cleared the gap by jumping. Whoa. Whoa! All right, Oingo. You can't use the you. rope. All right. Uh, I'm going to use my skill feat, uh, quick jump, to make a long jump, uh, in conjunction with my powerful leap. Okay. So go ahead and uh, go ahead and make make your athletics check. All right. Actually, I just realized those they they don't interact like that. But still. <laughs> Uh, is it athletics or acrobatics? Then? Athletics. Jumping is always athletics. 22. 22. All right, Oingo, you successfully clear the gap. You and Doom are now connected by rope. Okay, rope. Actually, no, I'm not going to command it. Uh, I, I, I detach the rope from him, and I, I shove it back in my mouth. Okay. You it, do that. Which rope? The rope from me? Yes. Yeah. It's it's all wet and sticky and lemon lime flavored now. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. Pesto begins moving towards the doors. It's do trade. Mm. I was always I... more of a sparkling water guy myself. No, that's not good for you. So, only true heroes do the good, do the right thing. And board the due train of justice. You have moved to the doors. Once we had the door, kid. I feel like Doom Man is like just a cross between between Pepsi Man, but for Mountain Dew and Batman. Congratulations, you figured out the bit. Um, I, yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy someone has has seen left and right. You open, <laughs> you open the doors. And on the other side, you see darkness. You see a massive chasm across which you see another set of doors with a ledge in front of them, around a five foot ledge. What the fuck is that art? You also see uh, what appears to be massive oh, stone what? hands reaching out of the darkness. Two coming from below and two attached to the walls. Which, um... Pesto and Dooman, you think you see those ones that are attached to the wall moving. I don't like this at all. So you have no. before you a 30-foot gap. How are we going to cross this? Uh, 
it's so like he Duvid reaches out a, 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 a tentacle towards the ground. Is there like an invisible ground no. or is it just deep? Your depths? tentacle just keeps going and going and going. Oh, I retract it back. Oh. I think we put away the woke too early. I think you're right. I reach my hand back into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, I pull out the long multicolored rope once again. All right. You pull out the rope. Now, is there anything that I can tie this rope to, like, immediately here? You don't currently see anything. Hmm. The best you could maybe that... do is the handle of the door. Does it look sturdy? It's a stone door. So, sturdy enough, but it is going to swing around. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, does anybody have any pythons? Any what? Pythons, you know, that I can, that I can hammer. It's the zoo. Like a hammer, you said? I have a hammer. I, well, I just, we need to secure this rope here. How deep is it? Uh, uh, Doomman's gonna take a can of a uh, of Do Train out of his pocket. He's gonna toss in the depths. It just keep can, going. It just keeps going and going and <sighs> going and going and going. He takes out until you can. hear behind you clatter, huh? spray. You turn around and see that the can has appeared behind you, and has <sighs> broken open. Oh. Uh, hmm, I wonder if, uh, hmm. Oh, we gotta think with portals. <laughs> yeah. I fucking hate you. This reminded me of where I grew up. They had me do puzzles for cans of do, do trade. Sort of laboratories? Oh, what the fuck you talking? I mean, sorry. I'm allowed to swear. They trained me to think like this. So anyways, it's what are you doing? tossing another can down there. Oh, he's tossing toss another can there. Okay, the same does it does happens. it look like there's okay, but does it look like there's enough velocity to be like enough to, to, to send him through the hallway and to that door? And what's that door made of? Um so the can comes straight down into the hallway. Oh. It doesn't fire back there's out. No, it just comes straight. Oh, there's down. no velocity, so there's no no conservation of velocity. Okay. What happens if you drop a can in the hole back here? Oh, that's a good idea. Ah. Do man takes a can and throws it back there. You throw it back there, and you see the can fall. And then a few moments later, it smashes onto the floor in front of the mirror. Oh. Mm. Interesting. Hmm. Well, so, that wait. doesn't help. So both connect to the mirror then? No. One connects to the, oh. the the pit back there connects to the mirror. The other cans that you've All been right. throwing into the pit in front of you land behind you. Like directly oh. behind you. Like Jacob's shoes are now right. covered in dew train. Oh, okay. My shoes are covered in what now? Dew train. I look at my shoes and I'm like, what the fuck is this? It's soda. It's the lemon lime it. soda. It's not good. Is the lemon lime soda a choice for a new generation? I think. I, I am just, I am, I'm gripping the hammer so hard right now. <laughs> I am as if I have so much intent and, and, and desire to do and to do something, but am using all my will to not do it. I wish I was a flying hey, bird. Remember, I will fix if you that. want to do it, just do it. That's the motto of a new generation. Why should I fly? I'm gonna flap my wings. Pesto flaps his wings. That's right. Pesto. You can fly. Pesto. I'm not flying. Do I need to get out in open Pesto. air? That's right. So you can Follow me. I'm gonna I'm gonna step over pesto, and I would like to make a uh, long jump. Okay, at what? Oh. 
at uh, this hand right here. Okay, at that hand over there. All right, go ahead and make yep. your athletics check. One that's moving? Is is that the one that's moving? Yes, the ones on the walls are moving. Oh, oh, make never. I thought... check. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're on a time crunch here. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, that's a 24. Uh, 24. And then I get to add five feet to that. Okay, you do. You... Huh? You manage to land firmly on this hand, and you can feel it's definitely stone underneath your feet, but it is also very definitely moving. Ta da! Um, uh, would you have taken the rope with you? No, no. I, I was going to leave a coil there. Okay. Or part of it there. <laughs> so would, Le you have taken, Le left would you have taken part yes. of the rope with you? Yes, yes. Okay. I took half the rope with me. Okay. Like you split it, or you took no, one no. End? It, this, I took one end of there the rope with me. Excellent, love that clarification, um, because it is necessary with that item. Um, all right, what now? Oingo has just leapt across the chasm. So, is the rope that we have tied to something? No, it's tied to me. Okay, apparently, Dooman puts it back inside himself. <laughs> We're gonna try and climb the rope. Okay, make an athletics check. I was gonna, gonna jump again. Acrobatics because Wait. I'm balancing? Uh, well, Wait, if you're birthday. climbing, you're not balancing. Play. So you can What's try that? to tightrope it. Oh. That feels like it would go worse. Um, I was addressed as the little bird thing. Yes. Wait, I'll go. The, the boy goes going to try some. I, I keep my voice to sort of break. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'll go the Brago. The Brago is going to <laughs> jump again. Uh, so I'm just, just going to leap did, over. How did fucking, uh, how did fucking uh, Christian Bale do this? I can't believe it. Uh, so, Oingo, you do actually have to make a long jump check real quick. Uh, do I? You do. I, I can leap 15 feet. Right, that means you can clear a 10-foot gap. Uh, but then I get to add another 10 feet to my leap. Right, but that means you need to take a long jump to do that. You get to add, you get to add that to a long jump. No, I get to add 10 feet to a leap. I believe. I, I da Look at uh, Dancing Leap hold and on, Powerful hold on. Leap. I'm, I'm noticing that it's doing the thing with diagonal, so that is a 10-foot gap anyways. You're good. Oh, okay, perfect. But yeah, with Dancing Leaf, I get to add a 5 to a leap, and then Powerful Leap, I get to add another 5. Oh, I apologize. Powerful Leap is a vertical leap. Never mind. Say so it would just be 5 added. So pow Powerful Leap is, ver is high jump and long jump. Right. Yeah. Okay, so either way, you're there. Yes, I'm there. You are now. And I'm holding the other end of rope. On the ledge next to these massive stone doors, you can see etched into them are just designs of wolf skulls. The moon. Lots of death iconography. Hmm. This seems like the right place. Is there anything I can tie uh, the rope to? Nope. Ah, oh, shit. Climb across these doors, one by one. These doors do not have any handles. Okay. I, I guess I'm just going to firmly plant myself against the ground and uh, hold the rope. Okay. Anything I can brace up against? The door. Okay, yeah, uh, I guess I brace up against the door and uh, prepare for uh, somebody to All right. make their way across. Who's, who's I will attempt first? to cross. Okay, are you climbing or are you balancing? I'm going to try to balance. Okay, make an acrobatics check. Okay, that's a 28. 28, all right. Pasto manages to balance 
over to the other side. Jacob! Jacob! What? You need a cross! Why? <laughs> it's a sticky... Look! It's a sticky situation! But I know you're always doing what's right! Oh, I get a sticky because you're a soda guy. Uh... Fucking... Eh... Eh... Okay. okay. So I guess I attempt to jump at whichever whichever one. Okay, is you attempt to jump. Go ahead and make an athletics check. <laughs> I love that he's just done it again. Yeah. yeah. I. Where he completely ignores the fact that there's, that there's a rope that he could be climbing. Uh, so go I ahead and make your athletics check. Other... Oh God. Remember, you. this is you. For once, you can't say, oh, I, I'm a, I'm not actually an explorer, because this is actually you! <laughs> I'm not an explorer! I and know, and I'm neither is explorer. Jacob Perez in the game! <laughs> so, 22. All right. Um, Jacob I'm Perez. Also not a <laughs> you attempt a long jump. Jacob Perez, you managed to clear the gap and land on one of the moving hands. Oh, yeah. The device looks at you sadly before zip lining over the rope. And at this point, you realize that there's not enough room on the ledge for all of you. So the device is currently just hanging in the air. Oh, oh no. We're gonna have to open the door. Well, what could go wrong? I open yep, the door. Go. go ahead and open you the open door. You open the door, and on the other side, you can see a massive room with pillars, stone pillars, stone floors. You see what appears to be a massive stone sarcophagus illuminated by a pillar of moonlight. And you see a figure knelt looking at what appears to be a large, dark statue. You may would like to leap over to the hand. Okay. Or long jump. Which hand? The long jump. I don't know which action. Uh, the one where, uh, where Jacob or his life and dice shield is on. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and make an athletics check. Athletics check. All right, here we go. Uh, proficiencies, athletics. Ooh, not bad. 25. 25. Shoop! You're over there now. You bring the rope with you and you clothesline Jacob. Oh. All right. The slack, Move inside. The slack of the rope is now causing the device to dangle and fall into the pit. Oh, no. And I just reel it in with my internal organs. You reel in oh, the rope. Fuck? Um, Oingo, are you going to continue trying to hang on to the rope? Uh, yes. Okay, make an, make an athletics check as, um, Dooman attempts to take the rope from you. I'm not gonna take it from him, I, I want to release the uh, slack! Damn it! Oh, I understand Read it between now. the lines! I understand yeah, yeah. now. I understand now. Still, oh, so it's, okay. Oingo, just so the 911 machine make, isn't going make, into the pit. Make an athletics check, just, uh, you know, just so you don't- 31. <laughs> 31, okay, you hang on. Oh my god. <laughs> Rock solid. Alright, take a step inside. Pastor, you step inside as so you he's do. going to listen to directions. You notice next to you, and also across the room, would appear to be some sort of wheels with chains attached to them, illuminated by a faint red glow. The chains appear to run across the ceiling, and you can now see uh, the pillar of moonlight is coming through a massive skylight. Um. So. A bit size, we can jump over. You Let guys may want to hoey up. I, I move away. You move away. <laughs> the device moves over. All right, and uh, so. Um, Jacob Perez. Oh. 
35. Uh, you're going to need to make a long jump here. All right, 35. I move over. Yeah, you, you move over. Uh, Thank oh, you. Oh, no. Oh, we nope, 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 nope. That's too far. Stop moving yourself. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jacob, make an athletics check. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yeah. You're now over. Look at that. What was that noise? I don't make that noise. Yeah, you do. You do now. That's your iconic ye. <laughs> That's your iconic Jacob Perez ye. You know, the one that you say every day when you wake before you go to bed? Alright, so yep. you're, you all guys, you me. you're all it's now here. You're all now here. my iconic Jacob ye. <laughs> you're all now here on the other side. In this Hooray! I eat the rope. Script. Okay, you eat the rope. Lovely. Um, Should we go in that room? Uh-oh. I say we go in the room. Yeah. Say we don't. And say we all go in together in one unit. Can so I'm gonna waddle forward. Pesto waddles forward. Do man waddles forward. Only go waddles forward. I still say forward. we don't say we did. Jacob oh, Perez stays. Win. Jacob Perez stays at the door. Oh, I don't Jacob Perez moves in. The door slams shut behind you. And as you Fuck. approach, the you can now see this man who is knelt over. Skin appears incredibly pale. He appears quite gaunt. You can see all of his bones through his skin. And you can see his hands glowing with blue flame as he turns to you. His milky gray eyes. He just... <gasps> You can see werewolf fangs poking come. from his from his gums as out of his mouth flies a massive humanoid wolf spirit creature. I'll have what he's having. Good day. So, it is time for initiative. Yeah! Uh, oh boy. Um, Alright, and so, Jacob, the way that your, uh, your device works in initiative is that it acts on your turn. Uh, it gets one action uh, unless you command it uh, as an action, so in, in which case it gets two actions. Make sense? You might have to remind me when it's my turn, but okay. sure. All right, here we go. Top of round one, Oingo. Three. All right. Uh, I'm gonna start off with a crane stance. Okay, excellent. Enter your crane stance. I enter my crane stance. And then after that, uh, let's see. How, oh, I don't like this music. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. <laughs> oh no, I don't like that. No. Uh, after that, I'm going to uh, kick off my shoes and uh, pull my pants up. You know, like you know, like when Cuphead like gets ready for a battle when he pulls his pants up. Sure. Uh, I, I I'm gonna do the same, and I'm gonna cast. Where where is my spell? You have spells. Uh, Fleet Step. Oh, that's a focus spell, yeah? Uh, I think so. Alright, give me a sec. Um, it's from my, uh, Fey Influence. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I forgot to put that in. Um, give me a oh, sec. Oh, good. Give me a sec. Um, Fey Influence, there it is. Um, Fleet Step. Spell effect, Fleet Step. There you go. All right, and uh, you notice that uh, he uh, he has hooved feet and uh, like satyr legs. <laughs> what? Un un underneath the clown costume. <laughs> and that's my turn. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, all right then. That brings us to the. What just rolled? Oh yes. Um you see the spirit, which appears to grow in strength as it absorbs the moonlight, growing in size as well. 
Um, it is then going to howl into the air and is going to you watch as from its form emerges a spiritual wolf creature. Um, so, uh, the, what you'd imagine is the Varkalak, um, is going to now fly across, uh, into Pesto and Doom, and Doom Man, um, and it is going to go for a claws attack on, um, er, excuse me, it's going to go for a jaws attack on Pesto and a Claws attack on Doom Man. So, against Pesto okay, first, okay. that is a 30 against Pesto. At crits! Oh, boy! Alright. So, that is going to be some some damage right there. Let me go ahead and get my dice. There we go. Alright, so Pesto is going to take from that um... 28 points of piercing damage. Youch! Um, and Dooman. Oh, wait, sorry, it only gets one attack. So it does not attack Dooman, it only attacks Pesto. My bad. Oh, okay. Because it uses hmm. an action to summon the wolf. Uh, speaking of. Just with canon event being that this thing comes in and automatically attacks the baby penguin. <laughs> <laughs> um, the wolf Kill now the baby. gets its turn. Um,. Which it is going to use to um, okay. it is going to use it is going to howl into the air at uh, and I need uh, I need Jacob to make a will save please Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. Okay. You succeed, so you are only frightened one by this fear that grasps you. No, it's pretty good, considering in real life I'd probably be frightened four. Um, that brings us now to Jacob Perez. Oh boy, it's time for Jacob Perez. So remember, uh, I, your, I your device I'm... gets one action unless you order it to do something. In which case, it gets two actions. Oh. <laughs> you no, know, I, I look over at this giant wolf, look back at my device, I look back at the wolf, uh -huh. back at my device, and I look at the wolf one more time, uh -huh. and I just, and I, and, and the most mischievous grin you have ever seen <laughs> rises on my face and I and I order the device to throw I guess a aircraft type projectile <laughs> at at the enemy okay at go the ahead giant and, wolf. go ahead and make a projectile launcher attack that's on the device's right. character sheet <laughs> the device has a character sheet why yeah. does the device have a character sheet because it does go ahead and uh Open the device's character sheet and make a projectile launcher oh attack. My fucking god! No goddamn way. Okay, projectile launch attack. Fuck. What'd you get? Fifteen. Fifteen, unfortunately, is not a hit. Oh, there it is. All right. I mean, you said it gets two actions, so I guess I'll do it again. Yeah. All right, go for it. Ooh, that was not intentional. Fantastic. Oh, Jesus Christ, why is it doing? There we go. What'd you get? That looks like a 13 to me. That unfortunately is not a hit. A 13. So you, you have, hear me? I can, I can now, but I couldn't before. Okay. So, uh, Jacob Perez, you have two actions remaining. Alrighty, uh, I guess I'm gonna go up. I'm going to attack it 
All right, with your hammer or your sickle. I use the hammer. Okay, go ahead and roll to hit with your hammer. I use multi attack. Um, no. You and your right device answer. do not share multiple attack penalty. Uh, 17. That unfortunately is not a hit. Okay, so um, then I'll try again. Nope, nope. You used all of your actions. One oh, action I thought to I said, order the I device. Thought you said use. One order, one, one to order the device, and you use one to step forward. Right, I did. Yes. Okay, so fair your frightened enough. condition ends, and that brings us to Pesto. I quick question: What kind of damage was dealt to me by that bite attack? Piercing. Excellent news. Okay, um, I would like to cast Blood Vendetta. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Pesto has a Blood Vendetta? <laughs> um, okay. Can innocent Pesto? Make you bleed. Okay, so what does this mean? So, what this means is that um, it takes... Sorry, no, you can't do that because that's a reaction. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's a reaction. Okay. So uh, I'll give you that spell slot back. Blood Vendetta is a reaction. You have to use that after you've been attacked, like as you're being attacked. Well, I will remember that for when it tries to bite me again. Hmm. In that case, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try and void warp. Okay. Thing of Bob. Okay, go ahead and, uh, or I guess that's a saving throw, isn't it? So, uh, fortitude saves? Yes. Uh, that is going to be a 22. So that succeeds, but not critically. Okay, so it takes half damage. It's going to take four points of damage. It takes no damage. That's really unfortunate information. Is it a Try ghost? It, it appears cybers. that it resists the damage. Okay. I'm going to try to do a cyburst then. Okay. Um, so, what does that mean? So, it says, with a passing thought, you direct violent psychic energies at a nearby creature, target one creature within 30 feet, it takes 3d4 bludgeoning damage with a 21 basic reflex save. Okay. So, reflex save. Uh, that is a 27. So, it succeeds, but not critically. It takes four points of damage. It takes no damage. Of course, it doesn't. I wouldn't. Okay, well, that's all the penguin can do. Okay. That brings us now to the Varkalak host over here. Um who is going to spin together a spell uh, is going to spin together a uh, two action magic missile first and foremost with oh. Oh, one no. going into Jacob Perez and one going into the do man so um so, Jacob Perez is going to take uh, four points of force damage, and Dooman takes five. I take um, five points of damage. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then uh, the Varkalak host is going to um, is going to cast something else, and you watch as this energy sort of envelops the Varkalak spirit's hands, and you see its claws start to sort of be almost magnetized towards its targets as a true strike takes effect. Oh, oh god. Oh no. So that brings us now to the Doom Man. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh no! I don't like it. I don't like where this is going. But you know what? It's always time to serve some refreshing justice. Um, he's gonna double stride uh, to get over to As you the move, host. The Varkalak uh -oh. spirit gets an attack of opportunity. 
Yes. Okay. It's a reactive strike. So with right. advantage because of true strike. Oh. Because true strike oh. is fucking good in this game. <laughs> so that against the do knight is going to be. Uh oh. Is going to be a claws attack. Um, and that is going to be. Sorry, this is going to take me a second. 31 to hit. 31 hits, not critically, but it does hit. Okay. So, Do Man, you are going to take from that. Oh, it's a lot of damage. 15 points of damage. 15 points. Slashing. Ooh, okay, I can live. Slashing damage. 15 points of slashing. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, and so you've taken two actions to move, so you've moved up to the host. Yes, I will attack it. I'll, I'll literally just go, Justice! I do! And I'm gonna try to hit him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. I got one action left, so I gotta hit him. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be 27 to hit. 27 to hit, that is a critical hit. All right. Oh. Uh, Critical hit. Do I get? Is there specialization for fists? I don't know. Uh, yes, there's specialization for every weapon group. It's the brawling weapon group. So let me pull yeah. up archives of Nethus real fast because I, for some reason, didn't have that open already. Um, What's wrong with you? Uh, critical uh, specialization effect PF2E. Uh, critical specialization. This is the brawling group. Target must succeed yeah. at a fortitude save against your class DC or become slowed one until the end of your next turn. So it needs to make a fortitude save against your class DC. What is your class DC? Uh, how do I determine that again? I'm so sorry. You find uh, it at the bottom uh, of your proficiencies. Proficiencies. Uh, there it is. Bottom of proficiencies. Uh, class DC is 21. Okay, and that fortitude save is going to be a 26. So it succeeds. All right, succeeds. Uh, I got snake eyes for my critical hit, so it's still 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage. Okay. You just clobber this thing, and you can feel these brittle bones crunching underneath your fist. Ah. Um, that is the end of your turn. Uh, that brings yep. us to the top of round two with Oingo the Boingo. Okay. Now, uh, before I do anything, just double checking, uh, with my leap, if I'm doing my math right and I'm looking at my feats right, I should be able to leap 30 feet, correct? Um, because let's see. leap, I can leap 15 feet if my speed is at least 30 and then, uh, crane stance adds an additional five feet to my leap. Mm -hmm. uh, dancing Leaf does the same. And then Powerful Leap, uh, you may increase the horizontal distance when you leap by five feet. Sure. Okay, great. I'm going to make a flying kick against uh, this guy right here. Great. Okay. Um, and since it is the top of a new round, the Varkalok Spirit gets another attack of opportunity as its reach is now 10 feet. Uh, so it's Good going Lord. to slash at you with a claw. That is going to be a 19 to hit. That does not hit. Okay. So go ahead and make your leap. You also might want to turn pathfinding off. So you, it doesn't do the weird it, shit. Yeah, let me let me try that. Where, where do I do that? Uh, left side, it's on the token control. Oh, I see. Yeah, little purple button. Um, so it's fine. Gotcha. You're already there. You're already there. Uh, so what does the Great. kick mean? Uh, so I leap over there, and then I get to make a strike. Okay, and I'm guessing, well, yeah, you only have one option, and that's the crane wing. Ooh, that's a 16 to 16 hit. 16 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh. Ooh. Sweet. Five points of bludgeoning. Five points of bludgeoning damage. Your fist definitely connects, but it partially goes through the creature. Um, not dealing nearly as much damage as you'd like it to, but definitely dealing a little. That's fine. Uh, with my final action, I'm going to do a combat grab. Uh, it, yeah, okay. Go for it. 
So I get to make another strike. And that's a 17 to hit. 17 does, in fact, hit. That's 10 points of bludgeoning. 10 points of bludgeoning, okay. And it is now grabbed. And it is now grabbed. All right, this thing is now mortal. And I would like to say, uh, the image of this thing being grabbed, uh, I have wrapped my, my arms have gone like Beetlejuice long, know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, and it has wrapped against this thing, uh, being held in place with the sticky end of my hands. We'd love that. All right. That brings us now to the Varkalok spirit, which, if it had taken damage, you can see it continues getting more power from the moon coming from the skylight. Um, and it is going to, at this point, um, use one action to summon another wolf. Um, it is then going to use another action to attempt to bite Pesto. Um, and so against Pesto, oh, that's a nat one. Oh. So crit fumble, uh, that is going to be card number 40, uh, that was unarmed. Until healed, you are deafened, <laughs> so it is now deaf. Um. Well, that's something. And, uh, so Pesto, you dodge out of the way of that strike. Um, the Varkalak spirit is then going to go ahead and make a claw at Jacob Perez. Uh, that is going to be a dirty 20 against Jacob Perez. Dirty 20 will do it. Okay, because Jacob Perez does not wear armor. Um, Apparently not. Yes. Uh, that is going to be 18 points of slashing damage to Jacob Perez. And a reminder that comes out of stamina first. Right. Um, and that is the end of its turn. That brings us now to Jacob Perez. Oh boy, oh boy. After you make sure to deal that damage to yourself. Yeah. Alright, double damage. Here we go. And I'm going to what's the device to fly its plane like projectile towards the giant monster. Okay, go ahead and roll a hit. 12, that's a 25 to hit. 25 does, in fact, hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Hey. Okay. Eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. Uh, it deals some damage, but uh, actually, no, never mind. It deals no damage. What the fuck? The plane just flies straight through. Oh, just like the real ones. Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, it has one action uh, remaining. The um, device has one action annoying. remaining. So then I, I eyeball the fellow over there. And I fucking scream the top of your phones. Mr. President, there's a second plane. <laughs> Jesus. Is it within range? I used to. So what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Another projectile launch. Okay, at at the Towards at the host over there. Over okay, here. so that will take yeah. a penalty um, from being slightly out of range. So it'll be a minus two penalty. Uh, minus two penalty for a tackle. Yeah. At multiple okay. attack penalty. Oh, is that at a nat twenty? Damn. Fuck yeah. All right. What the fuck? Critical hit. Uh, that is number 36. That was a piercing attack. Javelin catcher. Triple damage if the attack was ranged or thrown. Double damage for all other. So, uh, yeah. Roll triple damage. Jesus. So just roll, um, Fucking Christ. Just roll regular damage once and then, uh, triple that result. I don't understand the luck that Jacob Perez has as, like, a person. <laughs> All right, this has 15 points of damage. 15 points of damage to the host. The host is now bloodied. Um, All right, Jacob Perez has two actions remaining. Uh, 
<laughs> uh, how far is this? What is that? Uh, as how far is what? Oh, that guy. Yeah. Yeah. What's my What's my speed? Your speed is twenty-five. Okay, so I can over here. I'll jump on the start of the thickness. Okay. One one new joke. Sure. Uh, man, I know. You abandon Pesto and hop on top of the sarcophagus next to the Dew Man. I scream, I'm sorry, Pesto, as I run away. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so sorry, Pesto. Okay, so now I'm going to attack you with my light hand. Okay. Again, and no, and no mental, and no attack penalty, Correct. right? Correct, no multiple attack penalty. Fantastic. So I'll I'm probably doing this attack. wrong, but I don't really give a shit. Yeah, whatever. Uh, 24. To 24 hit. to hit. That is, in fact, a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. I'll stick. Four. You f four points of damage. You send your hammer straight through this guy's skull. <laughs> Falls down to the floor dead. That brings us now I, to... I, just, I look down at him and I do a one-liner. What is your one-liner? <laughs> Oh, well, I guess your one liner is that you just yeah, his one -liner. You said, yeah. I, Jacob Perez just says out loud, I look down on him and I do a one liner. Um, <laughs> wow. That He's brings... narrating himself. That's so fucking cool. It was really cool. It's one liner here. Now, I should note, <laughs> at this point, you see there is still a thread of moonlight between the Varkalok and the host uh, that's being strengthened by the moonlight coming through the skylight. As we get to Pesto's turn. Is there a way to close the skylight? You did see a bunch of reels with chains on them around the room that I illuminated with red and everything. Pesto, it's your turn. <laughs> hey, um, does the creature in front of me count as a living creature? No. That is so unfortunate for several reasons. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a... <laughs> I'm going to breathe fire. Okay. Oh. So that's a <laughs> reflex save. Um, all right. That is a 29. That succeeds, but not critically. Okay. So half damage. Three points of damage. Three points of damage, which is then reduced, so no damage. Hey, and <laughs> As then it I'm appears, the moonlight my... is creating a field around it. Awesome. I'm going to try a Psy Burst again. Okay. That's another saving throw? Reflex save, yes. Okay. That is going to be a 17. That is a failure. All right. That's seven points, so it probably doesn't matter, but still. Seven points of damage. Hey, it takes two points of damage. Look at that. Ah, you managed to finally get through the... <laughs> you managed to finally get through the moonlight field. Baby Penguin is so weary. Um, all right, that brings us now to the Varkalak host, because, oh, he's not dead. Uh-oh. As you watch his skull reinflate itself. Excuse me? Takes an action to stand up from prone. Perhaps, does the moon perhaps reinvigorate him as he stands up? Yes, it does. It appears that oh. the, it actually appears that the thread of moonlight connecting him to the Varkalok, uh, which of course is still being strengthened by the moon coming through the skylight. Um, yes. Appears to I just wanted reinvigorate to, him. I wanted, yes, yes, yes. Just I wanted to uh to specify that the fact yeah, that yeah, yeah. moonlight coming from the skylight and yeah, it is yeah, reinvigorating yeah, of him. Of course. While also proctoring a connection to him and the rock lock yeah, yeah, through yeah, the skylight. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, and I want to reiterate as well that the skylight has control mechanisms yes. highlighted in red amongst yes. the battle arena, right? Yes, it, it, okay. does. it does. Um, I want to just make all that right. clear. Okay. So, good. 
Uh, the Varkalok host is going to send an arc of electricity between Jacob Perez and Doom. Oh! Both of you make reflex saves, oh. please. Do I get ball work? It is a damaging effect, so sure. I I get ball work. I got, I got a 17. I got 19. 17 and 19. Both of you fail. Oh! <laughs> so, both of you take from that five points of electric damage. Oh. And that is the end of the host's turn. That brings us to the Doom Man. Five points? The Doom five Man. Points, yes, five points. By the name of Lord Duatris, we must close the light. And he's going to make a stride action towards okay. the, the first mechanism. You stride over to the mechanism. Can I attempt to close it? Um, Sure, yeah. You grasp the handles and I, you can use... my chest literally explodes open and tentacles fly everywhere and grasp as many places as I can and I'm going to try and close it alright so it'll take two actions to close I will burn the rest of my two actions to close it okay the red light goes out and the moonlight gets a little bit dimmer as it appears that uh, one of the four quarters of the skylight closes Quick! Shut the light off! So that brings us around to the top of round three with Oingo Boingo. All right, it's actually Oingo the Boingo. I would like to... Uh, <laughs> I'm saving just, time. You know. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to... Do I have... If I want to release this guy, uh, is that an action to do so? Free action. Okay, free action. I'm going to release him. Okay. And then I'm going to fly and kick this gentleman right here. Oh. Okay. Go ahead and. Uh, oh you oh make, my gosh, you make I that swear. Move and you roll the hit. 21. 21, that is a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Five points of bludgeoning. Five points of bludgeoning. You kick this, you kick a hole through this guy's chest and he goes down again. Well, wow. uh, you have one action remaining. Uh, okay. Here's a question: Does combat grab have to be against the same guy? My God. Da, 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 da. What are you trying to I do? I don't think. So. What are you? Does, co does combat are grab you have to, to combat be combat grab the closing mechanism by any chance? The closing mechanism? Uh, no, but I probably should. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do that actually. That's this thing right over here, correct? Yeah. I'm gonna see so it on over. Stride over there, and that's the end of your turn. Yes, that is the end of my that turn. That brings us to the Varkalok spirit, which automatically heals the damage that uh, Pesto did to it, um, and is then going to take an action to summon another wolf. So Pesto is now flanked, and it appears that this uh, pack has been built here, uh, which seems to invigorate all of the wolves around Pesto. Um, so uh, the Varkalok spirit... So the flanking does not affect this attack, this Jaws attack that's coming in at Pesto. So uh, mm. yeah, you, your, your AC is still 19. Um... This Jaws attack is going to be an 18 to hit. That will not hit. Okay. Uh, it is then, in that case, going to use his final action to make a claw strike at Pesto. Uh, that is going to be a 15 to hit. It will also not hit. Okay, so that is the end of the Varkalok Spirit's turn. That brings us to Jacob Perez. So I am going to. By the way, I want to make it clear because Jacob, what's uh, yeah. what's 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 the big uh, light source that is illuminating the room right now? <laughs> it's moonlight. Okay, Holy good. Holy shit! He actually good. knew. Oh. Make sure you're paying attention to that. Okay. Probably should have brought. It's also with us, huh? Yeah. By the way, uh, what's also the uh, the one that's uh 
healing these creatures. I just wanted to make sure you got that too. What? Okay. Yay! Okay. No, we're two for two. Wait, wait. We're about to go free for free here, guys. Free for free. All right. Mm -hmm. Um. So, what do the red mechanisms do? Mechanism. They, they're, they're chains. They do something with Come on. like with the moonlight and the and the like link between the moonlight and the creatures. If I am correct, if I don't know if I'm. Uh, the chains. GM, the wheels. Can I, wait, 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 GM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you answer the question, um, can can my client use phone a friend? No. <laughs> Damn it. Why? No. <laughs> Like, my client a, friend. You know, a lawyer. Uh, uh, All right, Jacob Perez, take your turn. Objection, uh, not compliant. That's not a thing. <laughs> take your turn, Jacob Perez. Three actions, use them. We're on okay. a time crunch here. Uh, yeah, um, I'm going to, I'm going to order the device mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to fire at this chain here, way out of its range. That is, that is way out of its range. So uh, you're telling it to fire wait, at the chain. And I yeah. point out there's a chain south of it. This is true. There are two chains south of it that are firmly uh, yes. within range. Oh, I'll fire. I'll fire it at those then. <gasps> okay. Uh, go ahead and roll the hit. Okay. Uh, that is going to be a hit. Go ahead now. What's that? You want me to roll the second one now? Uh, no, just roll damage for this one. Okay. That is going to be 10 points of damage. Oh. 10 points of damage. You manage to deal significant damage to the wheel. Um, and you can see it, it, it appears to let go partially, but uh, doesn't fully close. The device has one action remaining. Okay, uh, I'll watch it again. Okay. The same one. Okay. I also want to just note something real quick about the device, um, or about your device. Uh, the explode action is something you have as well. Uh, it's a two action ability that you have um, that causes your device to explode. In this case, it slams a plane into the nearest object uh, and deals 5d6 acid damage to everything in five feet around it. So, just, you know. Not fire damage? Really? Nope. It normally would be fire, but it's changed to acid because, you know, the old thing that melts steel beams. Um, just noting that it deals acid damage when it explodes. But anyways, uh, yeah, it has one action remaining. So, Jacob Price, um, what does the device do with its remaining action? You know, did the acid thing apply to did the acid thing apply to the device? So did you, you have to you have to take two actions for yourself, Jacob Perez, not the device. You take two actions oh. to make the device explode in a five foot radius. That's how it deals acid damage. It doesn't normally deal acid damage. It only deals acid damage when you make it explode. Oh, okay, uh, I'm just going to have it do another projectile launch. Okay, the, the same one? Same. Okay, yep. go ahead and roll the hit. Well, why are you circling the device? She's circling five feet. I was trying uh, to figure out what it would hit within a five foot radius. Nothing current. <laughs> it was what I was thinking. Okay, well, that's, that's 22. 22, go ahead and roll damage. Four. Four points of damage. All right. You send another plane into this. A second plane hits the, the reel. And it's it the manages real. to damage oh, it Lord. enough that the chain lets go uh, and uh, is able to close another quarter of the skylight. Holy cow, are you telling me that jet fuel melts steel beams? Uh, no, there was no jet no. fuel involved in this one because you didn't use the explode <laughs> action. Anyways, Jacob Perez has two actions remaining. It appears that half um, of the moonlight is gone. Fantastic. So now I'm going to... This guy's still knocked out, right? He's still dead, yes. I'm going to do a funny... 
Uh, I'm gonna take my sickle, I'm gonna chop his head off, and then I'm gonna carry it around with me, uh, so that it can't regenerate, he can't chase me around, and then I'm going to... Okay, you take one action to chop his head off with your sickle. Cool, and then I'm gonna run over here. Okay, you take your second action and to run over there. Sickle. And that's the sickle, it. I'm gonna... Do I only have two things? Yeah, because it takes an action to order the device. Okay, cool. Alright, that brings us to Pesto. I'm still happy with my turn. I regret nothing. We're here. Okay, Pesto's gonna take an attack of opportunity. Wait, didn't it try to do it on bong go the bongo earlier? Nope. Different turn. <laughs> oh, uh, that was round two. Uh, so, Pesto okay, we're all around free. It is going to be with a Jaws attack uh, that is going to be a 21 to hit. Okay, that hits. Okay, so Pesto is going to take, uh, thanks to pack attack, this is increased. Um, oh, right, I forgot to have the wolves take turns. Oh, well. Um, Next time. Uh, that is going to be 16 points of piercing damage from the Jaws attack. Pesto <laughs> is unfucking kind. Oh Woo! my gosh. Pesto is unfucking conscious. Pesto, Dying one. No. Um, Pesto is literally <laughs> surrounded by fucking ghost <laughs> ghost wolves right now. Yup. <laughs> that brings us to the Varkalak host, which is going to um, regenerate its five hit Don't points. I need to move in the turn order. Um. Yeah, I think. Yeah. It. it yeah. Reactions are funky. Um. So that's fine. Uh, yeah, so the Varkalak host grows another head. Um, oh. and, uh, stands up as an action. Uh, is then going to, as actions two and three, uh, it is going to summon a flaming sphere. Um, which is going to appear. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So it is going to appear on the under Jacob Perez. So Jacob Perez, make a reflex save, please. I think it's the Jacob Perez, by the way. 19. Yes. 19. Okay. Uh, that is unfortunately a failure, so you will take full damage uh, from this flaming sphere. Um, Alright. That is going to be nine points of fire damage. Uh, and that is the Christ. end of the host's turn. That brings us to Dooman. Dooman. Uh, uh. Shit! Oh gosh, I, I was expecting I was expecting Pesto to not fucking get axed during that <laughs> part. Uh, you expect MMAs to not spend half of combat unconscious? Yeah, I know. Big mistake on my end. Uh, <laughs> I take a step uh -huh. first and foremost, my feet. Uh, you step five here. Feet. All right. I step five feet. I'm going to enter. Uh, I'm essentially gonna like turn my hand, like I'm gonna like lean back in like a spine breaking maneuver, um, like this Eldritch Horror style as you hear bones break, and I'm gonna enter Dragon Stance. Okay. Ooh. And from like, from this tentacled creature has bones. Yeah, my my. I apparently I have bones. Um. I'm going to, uh, shit. Where's this part? Uh, activate a dragon stance. Thank you. So thank you. you. Uh, I'm going to just, a problo a probosis just, just essentially shoots out of my base plate or whatever the hell it is. Right toward the, right towards the, the host. Um, this, this horrifying sound. Uh, yeah, that's going to be, uh, Oh, I'm gonna hero point. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna okay. spend a hero point. One of on your that. three hero points. Yes, to, uh, I spent a hero point. To re-roll that. I will re-roll it. 
Ooh, okay. That's going to be a 24 to hit. 24, that is a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Rolling damage. Uh, 2d10 damage. Mm -hmm. Gonna be... Uh... Oh, damn. Ooh. Damn. All right. How much is that? I didn't see it. it did pop up. Uh, 22 points of damage. 22 oh my points gosh. of damage. He's down again. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, all right. Do man. Because I don't have any. That was the end of your turn. Correct. So yeah. So that brings us around to the top of round three with Oingo the Boingo. Okay. Uh, and just to, to be absolutely clear, this one has not been activated yet. Correct. It has not been deactivated yet. Takes all right. I'm going to deactivate it. Two actions it. to deactivate it. All right. You spend two actions. You deactivate it. Uh, so now. Only one quarter of the skylight is open. And you have one action remaining. Uh, okay. Uh, with my final action, I am going to... The, 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 uh, increment of 10 feet. I'm going to stride. Okay. And that is going to go... Actually, wait. No, I'm not going to stride. Uh... Uh, yeah, I'd rather just stride. Yield I'm not gonna bother 55 jumping. Fifty-five foot movement speed. Yep. Oh yeah. my Jesus Christ! Oh I will say, as you pass by the Varkalok spirit, you do take an attack of opportunity because it has That's a ten-foot reach. And uh, I would like to say, I'm not like running. I'm walking just incredibly <laughs> fast. Like it's just a walking animation. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, all right. So that's going to be a claw attack against you. Um, so that is going to be a 22 to hit. That does not hit. All right, then. Uh, all right, then. That is the end of your turn. As you move all the way over there, that brings us to Pesto. Make a death roll, please. Ooh. Well, I'm going to hero point that. Okay. Do you want to use all of your hero points to just not be dying anymore, or do you want to just use the one? I'm just going to use the one. Okay. Go ahead and reroll then. Much better. You are now Jean. no longer actively bleeding out. Uh, that brings us to the Varkalok spirit which is still getting healing from the moon, of course. Uh, it is then going to take one action to summon another wolf. Uh, it is then going to uh, make a jaw strike on Pesto. Um, Pesto, that is a 21 to hit. Well, that hits. Okay. So, Pesto, you are now dying one again. Or I guess dying two. Because, uh, wounded. And I'm also doomed, so... Yes, meaning that, uh, if you <laughs> become dying three, you fucking die. Um, so anyways, God. the Varkalok spirit is then going to... Um... Is going to then take an action to fly across... Um the battlefield here and land next to Oingo Boingo. Oingo Hi. Boingo, sorry. Um, that Thank is you. the end of its turn, but now the wolves all get to take a turn because I remembered this time. So, uh, <laughs> Don't have to me. wolf number one here is going to use its flying speed to fly over next to its friend there. Uh, it is then going to make a jaws attack on uh, Dooman. That is going to be a 13 to hit. 13 does not hit. Okay. Uh, it is then going to make a Jaws attack against Jacob Perez. That is a 17 to hit. That does not hit. Okay, that is the end of that wolf's turn. Uh, that brings us now to the other wolves. Um, we'll start with the newest one here, which is going to go ahead and attack the device. Um... It is going to get a get an eleven to hit on the device. That does not hit it. Okay. 
It How does the device have a higher AC than me? Because you're not wearing armor and the device is made of metal. Um, Fair, but fuck you still. <laughs> uh, it is then going to go for another attack on the device. Uh, that is a 14 to hit. It does not hit. All right, it's going to go for one more attack on the device. Uh, that is a 10 to hit. So that is the end of that, that one's turn. Definitely does not fucking hit. Um, all right, the one on to the left of Pesto is going to make an attack against Pesto. Uh, that is an 18 to hit. That hits. Okay. I... You're no, no. You can. So I will roll again. Uh, that is going to instead be a 22 to hit. Well, that's worse. Uh, uh, I will hero point that. Okay. That Wait, can you hero instead... point more than once on this? Yes. <laughs> you can hero point Wait, as many we, times as you if want. If two people use their hero points, can we counteract the roll uh, altogether? That is going to be an 11 pay. to hit. That doesn't hit. Okay, it's then going to make another attack oh, against no. Pesto. That's a 6 to hit. Yeah, that doesn't hit. It's going to make another attack against Pesto. That's a oh my 3 God. to hit. That does not hit. All right, that brings us to the other wolf. Boy. Uh, which is going to make an attack oh, against Pesto. That is just a on 12 to hit. This does not hit. Okay, another one. That's going to be a 17 to hit. It's going to hit. I... Wait. Is there... Can I use my hero point to get up here, or do I have to wait? What? So, hit points, healing, and dying. Uh, so... Well, I don't think it matters actually, because if I come up, then I'm at wounded two, and then I get bit, then I'm at I'm at dying three. So, if you use all of your hero points, um, then you you can use your hero point to um, you can. It just means that you. Um, you no longer are dying, and you would not be wounded anymore. Eh, let's do that. Okay. So, you use your hero point, uh, so you are no longer dying, and you do not increase your wounded condition. Um, okay. Uh, and I believe the wolf has one more attack, which it's going to use now. Uh, that is going to be a negative one to hit. Uh, so that's not hit. That brings us to Jacob Perez. Destroy the last one, please! Is it still next to me? Oh no, that one was destroyed now. Cool. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to have the device. Fire, a projectile launcher. It's the red thing, mm -hmm. Does it get cover? Uh... What? Against the yes, it does. The take transparent cover. ghost wolf. I yes, but it does still it, it does cover. still create cover. Go ahead and roll the hit. How? Wait, wait. Because wait, it does get on. hit wait, by things. Wait, wait, Jacob, Jacob. Right. This is the perfect time. Nine eleven, the thing. This is oh true. I, you I, could I, explode. You could. You could not have left this. Do you want to explode? Oh I, can ex I can explode and burn this wolf here and the big wolf next to me. I'm yeah. I mean, move it. I mean, move it. But, you know, move it and then explode the, the mechanism is what I was saying. Nah. I mean, next to you, the two. I mean, you could do that. You know what? So, okay, I'm doing that. Okay. Jet fuel's about to melt the steel beam. So you've taken Alrighty. one of its actions so, to move over there. Now, I will say, well, um, you don't have to use an action to command it. It can take one action to stride or strike without you commanding it. All right, cool. So that's what just happened. Okay, so it has moved. Uh, and so you're going to use explode? Yes. Okay, then. Let me roll the reflex save for the Varkalok spirit. Um, that is a mm. 22 on its reflex save. Um... Uh, What's my reflex DC again? It's it's reflex plus ten, right? No, it's not against your reflex DC. What is it against? If you open the explode action, 
trying to find the explored action. It's on your actions tab. Oh, it's, it's on the my one action. labeled explode. Okay, yeah. So, would you say it's would you say it's four walls? It got a twenty-two. Oh, it just barely. All right, so it will take half damage. So go ahead and roll that five d six acid damage. Hell yeah! As the device slams an exploding <laughs> plane into the ground. Nineteen points. Nineteen points of damage. You. The fucker just, is taking whoosh, nine points of damage. Still. Melt the chain, and that is enough to eliminate the oh moonlight my, completely. My fucking um, god! Which, it, uh, let's see. So the Varkalak spirit does take nine points of damage, which is reduced due to its thingamabobber. Um, so it takes. Well, no, it does it, take it some damage. was nineteen. Right, but it still takes nine points because it's divided in yeah. half. Um, yeah. No, I thought you were saying that it was nine divided. It, it no, it was it was nineteen divided by two, and then the nine was reduced by resistance. Um, and that ends the Varkalok's moon frenzy, meaning it is down, it is back down to size medium, um, and loses its healing. So, Jacob Perez, we got a chance. You have one action remaining. How this entire fucking game has been just on me and not on the jokes. Actually, wait, I just realized okay. something. The host is currently uh, dead. Yes! So, as yeah, the, the moonlight dead. disappears, the you see off. the. You, right, but it grew another head. He grew another oh, head right. and summoned a fucking fireball underneath your feet. Um, anyways, right, he did do that. you watch as the host, the, the th moonlight thread connecting the host and the Varkalok spirit <sighs> dissipates and the Varkalok, all of the spiritual wolves just <sighs> begin to disappear before the Varkalok spirit itself just <clears throat> disappears Wait. into the darkness is gone. Mm. Huh. And the uh, the fire underneath Jacob Perez's feet also disappears. Um, it's not over yet. It's not. It's not. We got a little burr on the ground. Oh yeah, that's true. Um, Jacob Perez, you have one action Extra. remaining. <laughs> Well, actually, no. Pesto's not actively bleeding out or anything, so it's completely fine. <laughs> no, hey, no. So, um, it's not fine. What does Do Man want to do? We're out of initiative. Do Man, Do Man's gonna, he's gonna do action strike. He's gonna run over. Does he see this little bird? He's gonna. You watch as, as like, what? Oh gosh, how do I? How does the spell work? I'm sorry, I, I'm the spellcaster. Uh, I've never played spellcaster. Lay your um, hands. Yes. What you see is his basically. What do you mean you've never played a spellcaster? Hold on. I played, I played a champion, a champion who has lay on hands. All right. Uh, wait, I have played a character who has lay on hands. Yo, Shit, Wyatt! Not. You have Wyatt, who is a spellcaster. Wait, no, I played a character who has lay on hands too. Remember that that orc barbarian? Um, oh god. Anyways. Anyway, yeah. uh, he essentially do bad just goes over this thing and just you see him dissolve into flesh. And he just essentially just like, cut, like he there's teeth and there's broken bones and he like literally cuts himself open and instead of blood, like lemon lime neon green glowing goo falls out. And I'm gonna cast lay on hands on good old pesto. Delicious. Um, Delicious. Okay. It's so that's it's 12 actually points of healing. <laughs> Tall points of healing the pesto. Pesto, you open your eyes and watch as the Dew Man melts. You see his crooked, horrible smile uh, as- I don't have a smile, I'm just you, flesh. You, you see the horrible, crooked flesh as the Dew Man melts into, into dew 
and becomes one with you. You are now one with the dew. The dew man is gone. And that's where we're gonna end this <laughs> off. <laughs> Happy there, Halloween, there, everyone! Wait, 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 wait! There's one last thing that I'd like to do oh, before God. we finish oh, off. What do you want to do? I I like to say this calls for a celebration, and I reach into my hair, into my afro, mm -hmm. uh, and I pull a very tiny car. Uh, <laughs> that is softly playing circus music. Oh, I put God. it on the ground. I, I open all the doors, uh, and I would like to effectively turn out my bag of weasels. Okay. <laughs> I need you to make 5,000 DC-11 <laughs> flat checks now. I'm not joking. 5,000 DC-11 flat Splash checks. Slash R. 5,000. Oh, I, I can't do that many. <laughs> I'll Hang on, wait. I'll, I'll do, I'll I'll do, do it at night. Hang on. Oh, Lord. Lord. Jesus. Good lord. Oh my fucking god. So. <laughs> Alright, we're just wait, gonna no, say all of them turn enough. into weasels. Yeah! 5,000 weasels! 5,000. 5,000 weasels fill the room! And you all. You all drown in weasels! Fucking happy Halloween! I am dead in real life now. Fucking happy Halloween, everyone. We want to give a special shout out to our first member on Buy Me a Coffee, Jane Meyer. Thank you so much for your support, Jane. And to anyone else who would like to support us in exchange for some pretty cool rewards, you can check us out on buymeacoffee.com slash livefromdicejail.